Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at Lilith in Taurus. So this video is for you if you do have this placement. Also if you have Lilith in the second house this video could resonate with you as well. Basically Lilith we're going to look at the backstory first. So in ancient mythology Lilith was the original spouse or partner of Adam. Adam wanted to be the one who was controlling, dominating, sexually expressive but she wanted to do these things as well. Adam didn't like that, so he kicked her out of the Garden of Eden. She got very, very angry, and eventually Adam got together with Eve. Pretty sure she came out of his rib, and Lilith had a lot of anger, and she was very vengeful. So basically what Lilith represents in our natal charts is our dark side, okay? It's our shadow side, our shadow selves. It can also be how we express ourselves sexually. So for those of you who have Lilith either in Taurus or the second house, for you guys, life is all about the senses, okay? It's ruled by Venus, so it's all about the pleasures in life, looking good, feeling good, acquiring things, acquiring wealth, everything that feels good. So this is also sexually. So for those of you who do have this placement, you guys might have the tendency of falling into overindulgence, okay? So this can be in all areas of life. You guys could overeat, you guys could overspend, you guys could go out and party a lot. You guys could become drinkers, like these types of things. Highly sexually active, okay? Very, very much indulging. Indulging in these pleasures in life to the point where it's to your detriment. Also, if you have Lilith in Taurus, you guys are going to be very much about items, okay? And acquiring items and wealth. So you guys might have a subconscious fear that you guys might lose items, okay? So you guys could really go either way. Either you guys can be overspending, okay? Overindulging, or you guys can be penny pinchers holding on to your money, worried that you're going to lose it all. You guys can also fall into the shadow of being petty when it comes to your items or things that you guys have worked for. So let's say in relationships, you guys could be the ones who are like, I bought that thing, that's not yours. Or vice versa, you guys might attract people into your life who are like this. Also, alternatively, you guys could also attract people into your life who are very much surface level. Maybe those people are very materialistic. Maybe they want to have what you have. This could also happen with the Lilith and Taurus where it's like they're around you. Maybe they like your lifestyle. Maybe they like the things that you have, but secretly they want to have that too. So you guys can attract people like this into your life as well. The main thing to watch out for is the overindulgent energy with Taurus. Also another thing when it comes to anger, you guys could be very stubborn, okay? Very stuck in your ways. Maybe not wanting to compromise even in relationships, okay? This could also take place. And another huge one is possessiveness. So not only could you guys be possessive of your items, saying things like, I bought that, that's not yours. You guys can be possessive of your partners, even maybe your sexual partners. You guys could be possessive of your friends. This type of energy where it's like possessiveness to the shadow extent where it's like you just want that person to yourself. Another shadow trait you guys could have is loyalty to the extreme, okay? So to the point where it's like detrimental for you, where it's like you guys are overly loyal to the people around you and it's like you're not getting that energy back in return. So this is the whole thing with Lilith in our natal chart. She's really here to show us our shadow side, our dark side, because when we take it out of the unconscious into the conscious, you can heal it, you can integrate it, and you can just be aware that you have these traits. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy my video on Lilith and Taurus or the second house. If you did, you guys can let me know in the comments below. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.